Hello guys, so this morning I ran errands and then I just sat down and I filmed so much stuff. Well, I say so much stuff, but like, it was just like a lot of stuff to film and then I edited part of my plan with me and I had to finish it today. But I thought today it would be fun because it's September 1st. It would be fun if we um, decorated for fall. I don't have like a whole bunch of fall decorations, but I do decorate my dining room. So I thought it would be fun if I kind of did that with you guys today. So we're in the little <laughs> dining room. It's kind of driving me a little crazy. Um, so we have the floors in here. Um, I've been worried about things changing things. Um, like the bathroom and stuff for now and I think oh, let's see I think either before we do these floors they'll get done before Christmas we'll put the floors down in here um but you know it's about like the underlayment which is like $80 it's gonna be $80 for in here and then the quarter round that goes around cost of money too so it's like just holding off on that till probably before Christmas I'm like yeah let's stress ourselves out right before Christmas but um what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, the next thing I'm gonna, like home improvement wise, gonna be spending money on first is going to be um, the new door. Uh, we talked about having them come out and install it for us, cause Justin's like, I just don't feel comfortable doing it. I'd rather pay them to do that, but it's like a lot of money. We'll just say that. It's a lot of money. It's the point where I was almost like, you know, we don't really need to change the door, but I kind of really want to. Um, and he could do it. He's just like, I'd rather them do it. But then I started watching videos on how they do it and they pull like all this stuff off, like your trim and pieces like that. Um, and you guys that have been with me, like, you know, I don't know, I get new subscribers every day. So you guys that were with me on the bathroom redo, you know, redid the bathroom, saw how they hung the mirror and how it took out chunks of the wall and Justin had like patched the sheetrock. So I'm not too like, I'm not too into the idea of them coming and like removing and reframing it all. So I'm like, you know, I'm just gonna let Justin buy a door that fits and we're gonna switch him up on the hinges. Um, because yeah, sometimes you can just buy the door but the one we want, like it comes with the frame. So I don't even know, I don't know. But I wanna do the door before the floors. I'm totally digressing. Um, let's get into fall, y'all. <laughs> it's fall, y'all. <laughs> should be my, my video title. So, I keep all my fall stuff. Let me flip the camera. Um, I keep my fall stuff and this antique buffet stuff that was my grandma's. I keep it in, like, all different drawers. I kind of went over all this stuff in my spring cleaning video. Ugh. But, I have a little false setup that I like and it's just mostly the I have like these from like two years ago do these expire is that a thing let me just pull all this out and then I'll show you okay so I've lit that old candle from when I coupon because it kind of smells like um I don't know like cinnamon and pie I don't know kind of fallish I guess um all right so these are basically my decorations I have some this under here and I'm just going to do like a table at a time or however I do it and then show you guys. Let's start at the dining room table. Okay, that looks good. Let's add some more. That looks pretty good. Something's missing. Still feel like something's missing. That's perfect. Okay, now let's do over here. Looking good. Let's add more. And let's add some more. Okay. I think one more thing. Perfect. What do you guys think? All right. So, table runner. Okay, let's do pumpkins. And maybe a little more greenery. Okay guys, we're all done. I'm gonna show you guys the stuff up close. This I might replace this year when everything goes to like 70% off just because this is like stuff from the Dollar Tree. It's not bad looking, but every year it gets harder to kind of wind 
around stuff, you know, and make it look right. Um, these are cheap pumpkins I replaced last year because um, somebody named Ralph, Ralphie, he won't look at me. He knows he's not even allowed to look at these pumpkins now. <laughs> he ate them, and um, anytime he eats something, which um, he just, he knew he, like, I watch him like a hawk when we have decorations out. But he, when I first put them out, he ran in here, jumped up, took one, and ran off with it and started eating it as he ran. So pretty much I had to replace these. But anytime he eats something like that because he's had intestinal surgery already for a blockage, um, I have to induce vomiting. So he had a nice vomiting afternoon the day he decided to do that so maybe that's why he won't even look at me or the pumpkins right now um amber never messes with anything do you baby see i just eat my stuff yeah oh you want a belly rub see people on youtube give me a belly rub okay so starting from here i have had this this set of things, these like candle rings, the candles, everything from Hobby Lobby for a few years now. Same with this, but I got these at the Dollar Tree when I was in college, I believe. Um, you guys, don't start fighting. That's them making weird noises. Um, this my sister got at like, I don't know, Burlington or something right before we had Thanksgiving one year when I had Thanksgiving here. And then she got two of them at the time. I hadn't brought that piece in from storage. My dad had it. This is all my Nana's furniture. Um, so then I got the pumpkin from Hobby Lobby on sale. Most of the stuff, I waited till the end of fall previous years and bought it. So that's that. And then this old wreath under here is just like a kind of like sticks. I don't remember what that kind of wreath style is called, but I got it from um dollar tree a few years ago and this little guy was on it so i ripped him off i bought these leaf things from um hobby lobby and i set them on top of that as you can see i set him here and then i got this mason jar candle a couple years ago i burn it a few times but i just like the way it looks and then i got these picks from hobby lobby at last year's clearance i believe so that's pretty much all the decorating that I do for fall. Um, I am more a Halloween girl and I feel like fall stuff won't be out that long. I do have a wreath, but I'm going to pull everything off of it and redo it um, probably next fall. I'm not gonna put it out this year. I think I am gonna decorate this year outside for Halloween. Justin and I decided not to have our Halloween party this year. Um, some things are changing with the parking situation and we just decided we'll have the big Halloween party again when we have the new house, whenever that, like the next year or two. So um, yeah, then that way there'll be more room for people to, uh, it gets really crowded in here with a big party. Um, but I'm gonna decorate outside for the kids. The past couple years I have not, it's probably been two years I haven't decorated for Halloween and even though we were having the party, I wasn't decorating inside, which I get really crazy and elaborate, y'all. I turned the dining room into like a haunted mansion. I changed out all these pictures with the kind that change to like scary. They look normal, then they change to scary portraits. I turned the chandelier. I hate that I'm replacing that, by the way. That came with the house. But um, I turned that into like a red light. It's all red. And then I, dra I drape like the curtains with this like gauzy, ghostly looking stuff and it looks really cool. And then I'll do tons of stuff throughout the house. It is a whole like three day project when I do it. But I think this year I am gonna decorate outside. I'm just gonna keep my fall up stuff inside through October, but um, I haven't been decorating because the first few years I decorated was fine. Like a few trick or treaters came, you know, whatever. Um, mostly it was kids from the apartments around here, which I'm totally, happy about because I know because they don't have a house they don't really you know always want to trick-or-treat in an apartment complex so I'm always excited to get any kids you know I'm that person I'm so excited I'm like oh my god what are you I'm that weird adult that's like you know anyway so um <laughs> pretty much it was great and then all of a sudden one year we started getting these like teenagers and like people coming to the door that looked like they were 19 which I trick-or-treated in high school, okay? I can totally, if they if they were in a costume and stuff, 
here's your candy. Um, I did give them candy because they were freaking me out, but they weren't dressed up. They came to the door with like their backpack and had it open. One of them was on a cell phone the whole time. I was like, what is this? But um, then people would like, these teenagers would start coming later and later and they'd be like banging on our door. It'd be like 11 o'clock at night. They'd be banging on the door one year, almost called the police. And it was like, I didn't put decorations up the following year. I just told my neighbors, hey, we have candy. You can bring the kids. I'm just not decorating because the past couple of years I got really uncomfortable. So pretty much then like the kids, the kids came that like lived in the neighborhood and we got some from the apartments that just took a chance to ring the doorbell because I left the light on. So they kind of knew like, yeah, I just don't have decorations out. Um, but it kind of got rid of those scary teenagers that were like beating on our door at all hours of the night. And yeah, so um, I think I'll put decorations out this year. And I'm going to put a sign out that says, like, sorry out of candy on the doorbell. I think I did that one year. I ended up doing it because the first year, people were knocking on our door till like, 11 o'clock at night. And then, like, the second year, um, I put something out at, like, 930 that was, like, all out of candy. Try earlier next year. Um, and they still they rang the doorbell and, like, stuff, but it ended at, like, 10. They stopped messing with us. Um, but... Yeah, I don't know what the deal is that. I trick-or-treated in high school. I love Halloween. I worked at a haunted, like, house and stuff in high school during the Halloween season. I love Halloween, but I dressed up, and there was one year, this old lady, me and my friend, <laughs> my friend James, he is now a drag queen, but we dressed up, and we, we, like, got so into it. Our costumes were so intricate, and most adults were like, I love it. I love that y'all still have the spirit of Halloween. Like, we were 16 or 17, and um, <laughs> this one old lady opened the door, and she goes, your costumes are really nice, but you're too fucking old to be trick-or-treat. She, this like 90 year old lady dropped an F-bomb, which I, that was, I was just, it was hilarious. But <laughs> she just like shut the door in our face and we we're like, not even mad just because she was just like, it was funny to see like somebody that age drop an F-bomb. So it was like, she was like the sweetest old lady, like in a like sweater and you know, she has the sweetest voice, but she was like, you're too fucking old to be trick-or-treating. And yeah, so that ended our trick or treating days. But I always think that was pretty funny. But truth be told, like if high schoolers came to my door, I'd be totally fine with that. Like shit, like stay young as long as you can, but don't beat on my door late at night and start screaming at us and demanding candy to where I have to call the cops. So because it's like I know they're teenagers. I like if an adult did this, I would be opening the door with the shotgun or, you know, the AR. But since I know they're teenagers, I'm not going to make them shit themselves, but I will call the police on you. So I think I'm going to decorate this year for Halloween. I've just been blabbing and like, there goes my whole vlog. <laughs> anyway, we are not doing anything tonight, but going to buy um, eco-friendly dog poop bags because we're out. And that's pretty much my day. So I will see you guys tomorrow, and have you guys decorated for fall yet? Let me know. All right.